Okay, welcome back to The Dig on Kenai Gaming. We have dropped off our suits, uh... We're breathing the nice, sweet air of this alien planet. And now it's time to... Look around. I guess this isn't a natural geological formation, right, Brink? Certainly not, Commander. Look how close the stones fit. Like ancient Peruvian masonry. So it's primitive. There was nothing primitive about ancient Peruvian masonry, Commander Lo. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. I don't know if you don't think you have to talk to them ever, really, unless you're in a place that you don't know what you're doing. So let's go to the clearing. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water, or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, though. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. It's a little foreshadowing for you. All right, so question mark, question mark, question mark. Deus. Deus es... Okay, so how about... Well, I guess we just kind of go to whichever one. That one's closer. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? <laughs> You're the one who should know about writing and languages and whatnot. Okay, so... Brink. Doesn't seem to be anything around here that we need to look at. So we go back to the clearing and we go to the next question mark. That one's dirt ramp. There we go. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Mark us. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Yes, those rat-like things. That keep scurrying through the same holes. Let's take a look. Be brave. It looks like something is buried here. Hey Brink, you want the shovel? Come on, Brink. Dig it up. Dig it up. What? Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. And cut to the thing being dug up. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. Yeah, so can we... Let's look at the bones first. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. But it has tusks. It must be like a thing with tusks. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. Yeah, use tusk with draw, jaw, jawbone. Jawbone. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> it's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. 
Yes, we could probably use that to show it to Brink. Yeah, I can show it. Look, take teeth are very sharp. There you go. Take a look at that. Take a look. Portion of skull from an alien creature. Yes. Good observation. Good. 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 We have proven that you have eyes. Okay. So back to the clearing. Did that go back to the? No. There. So we have one more site to check out. Over here. This one is grave. That's dirt ramp. One of these leads to something. Obviously. Oh, what? Actually had a loading screen. Oh, wow. Hmm. Fantastic. Look. More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone or anything alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful or gone. <laughs> okay, Robin's Brink goes back to clearing. So what? I guess we just walk over here toward that ship. For some reason, I don't know why it seems like I might have seen this ship in something before. But probably not. Let's take a look. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust, corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. All right, you take care. <clears throat> Hanging wire. See. I don't know if this is part of the ship or something more organic. Well, since you apparently can't find this hanging wire, maybe I should examine more instead of... We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ha. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ha. Well, something certainly came down. Look at it. It's beautiful. And it's rolling for initiative. Changing shapes. Mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. Well, aren't you a butt? Let's take that wire. It still might be useful. And then, see, I wonder. What, examine. It's a rod engraved, five geometric shapes. It's probably the shapes that. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Well, you weren't paying attention then, were you? Because this is obviously. The wand of a dungeon master. So let's put that away. Alright, well, uh. Can we walk anywhere else in this thing? Man, there's like. There are noises everywhere. Use tusk on nothing. No. Well, how about I show this to somebody? I can't determine what it's made from. It's made from dice, idiot. I don't know how we could have missed that when we first walked in. It's beautiful. All right, so we go outside. Now, I remember falling into a hole, which makes perfect sense with, you know, you're digging. If there's anything over there. The cursor always, like, flies off the edge of the screen, and I can't tell where it goes. All right, well, I think uh, we want to go back to the dais. Amadeus, Amadeus. Hmm. 
And those are all just chunks of the ship. Walk faster. Okay, let's go back to the dais, and we are going to use our power of a dun as a blah, blah, blah. failed joke. Okay. Hey, there we go. Twirling smoke of death. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something. Or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive. Or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the port authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. Ha ha ha. So it went... Small hole. It's too small and dark to see if this hole leads anywhere. Well, how about... I always forget that you don't have to click on that like that. Let's examine. It's too small oh, come to on. This hole leads then let's make the hole bigger, okay? You can always do that. This is the dig. I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. Maybe there's something under here. Yeah, maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. <laughs> Think you're so smart, Brink, with your attitude. Cut, cut to the cut. I don't know. The ground is soft here, loose. I think this used to be an opening and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. And you fall in. What are you doing? Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Not to charge in with guns blazing. And yet, you're gonna fall down in there. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. Yeah, <laughs> digging a hole. I'm not so sure if he does actually fall in or if he does open the hole bigger for us to just climb down. <clears throat> No! It's completely... I can't... No! Ah! Oh... Frank! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Boston. He's dead. I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... to lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look. You can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. 
Till then, adios. Ciao. Sayonara. Avidersane. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me, and we both know exactly the same amount about this situation, which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. Until then, adios, ciao, sayonara, a Wiedersehen. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah, all my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. All right, well, what a place to end an episode. So, Brink is dead. We are underground. Maggie has left us to go searching for stuff on her own. And here we are. So, if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button to join the collective. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.